This should be an absolute cracker. I'd be very surprised if this is not over in half an hour. Yeah, yeah, it could be a really quick game. Um, this two, these two have got a lot of history. They they come from similar areas. Shane's from Taunton, Oli, well, originally from, he lives in Bridgewater, but uh, as I say, a club in the Oval, and um, they've crossed paths many times over the years. Um, played in various local competitions and played each other in lots and lots of finals. I mean, you say that Shane's going to come into this with, with the edge. I mean, he is definitely the favourite, but uh, if Oli keeps on doing what he's been doing, then look out. And a decent opportunity early doors, Steve. Yeah, reds look quite good here. Shame he just pushed that yellow into a, a gap where it's going to cover one of the reds. But I'm sure he'll be able to dig something out. Yeah, I remember back in the day when I was playing down your neck of the woods, there was a, a club in Paul and uh, Mickey Wareham and that crowd. Yeah. They yeah. used to play tournaments down there. Yeah, of course, yeah. your world title was 21 years ago now, wasn't it? 2002? Was it up in Scotland yeah. you won that one? Yeah, Shetland Islands. Yeah. I was runner up a couple of times as well. But uh, Yeah, you made the final in 2000, I think. Yeah. Yeah. But. Uh, yeah, it seems a long time ago now. Uh, people are trying to get me to uh, dust the queue down again and brush the cobwebs off. So, and it's a it's a bit of a um, it's a bit of a father daughter affair on comms at the moment because your daughter's in the other room commentating on the ladies' game, yeah, Emma. Yeah, bless her. <laughs> yeah, she's up and coming. Yeah, she she's definitely up. is. So a miss from Oli gives Shane. A decent opportunity, what you see from Shane is a a real classic cue action, very smooth. He plays with a, a larger size tip, but um, he's very smooth. Never see him play anything too extravagant, never really needs to. He's got great control of the cue ball. Yeah, it's a very good positional shot there. If he can perhaps just roll onto this red, clear, free to yellow up a bit. Oh, it must go. Yeah, I think you can just get through to the potting angle of it. And there you can see from the overhead. He's just come a little bit short, though. He's a little bit thinner than he wants it to be. Mm. Oh, he's just uh, itching to get back to the tail. Absolutely. Hoping Shane uh, fall over. Uses the red. It's a great positional shot, that. Yeah, that's absolutely superb. Awesome. Pinpoint again from Shane Thompson. It's what we've come to expect from him. Four time former winner in the pro events. Of course, back to back, the first player to go back to back in the 2021 season. He's, um, he's going to want to do something about his ranking as well. He's uh, He was obviously number one ranked player in. 2021 dropped down to number five last year he's currently number nine in the rankings but this will give him a boost and the first frame is under his belt goes in the way of shane thompson and then uh, retired that makes me feel really old you said that <laughs> <laughs> so a dry break from shane gives Oli the first look at this table yellows look there the choice he's going to make. Yeah, there's not too much in the way of problems on yellows by the look of it. They, there's, there's a bit of traffic in the middle of the table that he needs to concern himself with. That's but perfect. Yeah, great first positional shot. I think if I was clearing up now, I'd just be looking at whether the black goes past the bottom right and past these two reds. So I think what he's going to do is go round, leaving maybe the ball on the left-hand cushion to the last ball. But he gets the option of running through for the black in the middle, but it just depends on the angles. Just under hit that one a fraction. Just slightly short pace, but uh, I think he's still okay. He can. He's very inventive. But the one thing he does he's got firepower in spades he just sometimes his cue ball lets him down just a touch 
getting a little bit trickier now. Just depends which way he wants to go. Yeah, that traffic I mentioned, all the reds at the top of the table just come into play now. He needs to be pinpoint accurate with this shot. I think he's going to go in between the feather, just between the two reds. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, you got through there. How peculiar, though, Steve. Yeah, a bit further. We'll need that another six inches, really. He's got a decent angle, though, so he just needs to focus on the pot. The cue ball should track across to the right-hand side of the table. Exactly. Close. It's not going to drop, though. And another very, very open chance for Shane Thompson. You expect him to gobble these up. He is clinical with these finishes. Can't see... Uh Many problems here. He's going to leave the last two reds there in the bottom, I think, for the black in the opposite middle. Just minding his work. Got on his only hard ball perfectly. I guess when we look at um, these careers, their two careers over the last couple of seasons, there's definitely you know, the huge um, golfing in the difference in results. Of course, Shane Thompson, that first season, he just took it by the horns, winning three events, runner-up against Jake McCartney in event two, and uh, then went on to follow that up in the following season with a win in uh, the last event against Craig Waddingham. Not such a good season this year. But, um, you know, he's had a couple of decent runs, but uh, not been in any finals. Conversely, only... He has been in a semi-final before, back in the 2021 season. So. Looks like he's going to put the black in the same pocket. Look after two cushions. Would you say that counts for a lot, the experience of not being in the semis and the finals? I think it does, yeah. I mean, I think you'll probably know that better than me, Steve. But I mean, you know, those... It, 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 you just know how to get across the line, don't you? It just makes such a difference after you get that first win. Yeah, that is a disaster, really. Not just the fact it's um, ball in hand behind the line, but everything's gone wide open. There's no clusters here. What are we looking at here, Steve, do you think? I think... Um well, obviously, he's beat me to it, Yellers. Yeah, but, but you could probably make away. a case for either, couldn't you? Yeah. Drop this in, and hopefully the one by the... He's look, you just looked at it's going in the middle pocket. If that goes freely, then it's all wide open. I think a lot of club players, Steve, would have, would have looked at this table and maybe thought that, you know, reds are a bit more open. What, what's, your, what's your thinking behind him going yellows here? Well, realistically, as long as he clears the yellow closest to the black, if he gets on that and then drops that, drops the one down a cushion, and then leaving the one in the opposite middle, oh, he's gone onto a plant. What do I know? <laughs> um, there are so many various options. Yeah. But like the last commentary, you can never... You know, I mean, you're the expert commentary. Commentator, sorry, not me. But uh, they always tend to change their mind last minute. So that's where it's a question of just falling out of position yeah. or just seeing something different. And sometimes that, that falling out of position can just it can just be half an inch either yeah. way, can't it? Uh, then you've just got, suddenly got, got to reroute. Yeah, that was a nice little uh, shot played by Shane, a nice little clip off, make things easier. Reaching for that one, but he's he's quite a tall guy, so no problems there. And the black goes in. What, what's that? Four out of six pockets. Yeah. So it shouldn't be too much uh, problems just getting on it. Perfect. Be, should be black down in the bottom left. Should just run through a bit of side maybe. The other option is just screwing down a side cushion and black in the opposite middle. Yep. However he sees it. Yeah, I think knowing Shane, he'd probably play 
Oh, he's left it oh, short. He has left it short. I was going to say, knowing Shane, with his kind of more natural cue action, I would have thought running down the table to um, to take the eight ball into the middle would have been more him, but uh, he saw it a different way. This white ball could be flying around the table a bit. Oh, no. <coughs> Controlled it very nicely. Shane's obviously, the Mellins, the Gareth Potts. Yep. Yep. They can all do it. Before you know it, you're 5 0 down. Being played at uh, a good pace as well, three frames under our belt in just a shade over 10 minutes, and this is another great break from Shane. Cuba just tracking towards the top, the top of the table, but it's safe. And uh, what another split! Yellows look uh, very uh, inviting. I'm sure back in the day that you guys played, there were always clusters on the table. <laughs> yeah, they wasn't as fast as the tables now, and the pockets were a lot tighter. Yeah, but uh, yeah, so. Yeah, if you got a nice break, you went for it, believe me, because it didn't often open that much. Yeah. Especially if you're playing someone like McGuinness and yeah, someone like that. It'd always be a good tactical game and yeah. Brewers and yeah, yeah, yeah. Appletons. And yeah, of course, that was that was your final in 2002, wasn't it, against uh, Andy Appleton? No, no, Andy Lucas. Oh, Andy Lucas. Sorry, of course it was, yeah. 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 I've played, I played Andy in the final. I was lucky enough... I say lucky enough. I played. I used to play on the UK Pro Tour, where there was say 80 runners, and just a phenomenal amount of talent in there. And I think even to this day, I'm the only one to win three on the trot. Wow! And I played Andy in the final of one of them. I remember at Coventry, I think. Wow! That's was lucky enough. To, record. Lucky enough to beat him. What about these these kind of conditions? Though, when you when you come in and see these arenas, it, 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 are you kind of you know is it a bit of melancholy that you know you, you you kind of love to have had these conditions, or or you know does it does it make you want to come back to the game and, and give it another go? A bit of both, really, because we did have televised tournaments. And yeah, quite a yeah, few. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. And yeah. that arena, I mean, the first UK Championships I won was at the funny enough, it was at the Blackpool Tower Ballroom. Yeah. And uh, I was amateur and I beat a pro. And uh, there was one table set up, a thousand people around the table. Amazing, wasn't it? These have huge crowds, yeah. yeah. I watched all those finals, by the way, Steve. I, I've, I've been back and, and watched them all. I'm a bit of a, I'm a bit of a, a, a pool geek when it comes to stuff like that. But, right. yeah. but that was another impressive frame from Shane. Yeah, it wasn't it ever? I think Ole is uh, under a bit of pressure here. And it's not a kind break for him. He's got, got a first yellow, but they're not really inviting. I don't think the yellow up the top by the reds goes. Uh, there's your answer. Yeah, this kind of reminds me a little bit of um, the Oli Bale against Arthur and Dad game in the last round that Oli Bale came through. Every time Arthur came to the table, it just looked like problems. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I've just seen a shot here that could end the frame. If he doubles his first red... He'd be on the awkward red in the middle of the yellows. If this goes. Good shot. Great spot. Now get onto the one on the side rail. It could be all over. Sorry, interrupt. No, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, really good spot. And uh, yeah, as you say, another super opportunity. It's a lovely little touch off the yellow there. These could be a couple of the quickest back-to-back -back semi-finals we've ever had. I don't know what the timing was on the uh, the previous match, Chris Melly against Carlo Donahue, but it can't have been any more than 20 minutes. And uh, here we are again. I think uh, Shane said to himself, "I'm not letting Melly out uh, play me today. <laughs> I'm going to beat his time of these frames." Yeah. <laughs> this is the. Uh, Frame shot, really. Yep. There will be a, a little bit of that as well, though, won't there, Steve? I mean, the fact that, that Shane knows that Chris has won 7-0 and, and put in a sublime performance, if he can do the same, he's just saying, look, you know, I'm not, I'm not giving you anything. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's uh, so true, that, because it could be a bit intimidating for this semi-final after watching Melins. Yeah. But then a good performance... 
stamps his authority before they even get into the arena. Because then in the other sense of uh, the sentence you just made, Melina will be going, oh, he's playing well as well, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. And you've got to say it's it's been flawless from Shane so far. Pretty much so. Pretty much ball perfect on everything yeah. he's gone for. He's only got to watch. When he pops this red, he's only got to watch. He don't just feather that yellow. Yeah. Slow the white up. Oh, very good. Oh, it's plain sailing now. Little soft screw back. Naturally on the black in the same pocket. Shane Thompson juggernaut marches on from Oli's. Shane might go in off or you know, miss a ball to let him back in a frame, which don't look that promising at the moment. Well, doesn't that just sum this game up a little bit? Look at this cue ball, it's heading straight yeah. towards the, the corner pocket and gets kicked out. Just a little touch. How often does that get kicked in when you know <laughs> when, when it's, when it's you. not going your way? Yeah, and as it happens, it's just another delightful layout. Yeah, I can't see much uh, to get in his way here. Got various options. What a couple of semi finals we're witnessing here. He's going to get the one in the middle now, I think, maybe. One up the top, clear that, and yep. drop down for the bottom two. Yep. Yeah, the one on the cushion being his, his last ball to to get on the eight. Again, he's absolutely ball perfect to where he needs to be. Yeah, he's made sure he's run through a little bit there. So when he pots this yellow, just to make sure the white stands over to the left. So it's not straight on the bottom yellow, but he's got a bit of a... Oh. Decided to go that way. And it needs, a, needs a bit of angle here. He may have finished a bit straight. He may elect to take the other yellow to the middle now. Yeah, a bit of a reroute. It's a lovely shot. Just doesn't look like missing at the moment, does he? No. Gobbling up every opportunity that comes his way. Would have been happy if that dropped. Yeah, it's a he's securing, but yeah. uh, but he's straight down on it. No problems there, Shane. And yeah. another one, and another one. Wow! And that's just purely the bite on the cue ball there because it stopped and it wasn't going in, and then all of a sudden it took off again. What a brutal game! Well, if you'd have asked somebody to give you odds. On these two semi-finals, finishing 7-0, you'd have got a huge prize. Oh, I'd have been a rich man. God, remind me. Well, it's not there yet, but the way Shane's played so far, it's um, hard to see how it's anything, but it's got a bit of work to do. The red's just gone next to the eight ball. That's, it just needs a little bit of care and attention now. He needs to think about the way he takes these. So this transition shot here is pretty important, Steve. Yeah, as long as he lands on the red, he should be quite comfortable. He's just got to take the choice if I can see a couple of reds that he may go for. I don't think he wants to leave the plant in the bottom right. I think he'd like to get on one of them if he can, or the, maybe the one by the black. It's perfect, it looks like. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I still think he's all right. I don't know. From Deceptive angle, camera angle. There. It is. You just wonder whether he can turn it over with side. He can get to that side of the cue ball. Oh no, he's having a song. He can get. Oh no, he couldn't get past. So, wow. Shane oh. Thompson doesn't make a clearance. There's a surprise. There's one for the record books. And once again, <laughs> Ole is uh, just left completely dead. Oh, he's played a very impressive shot there. That was a great effort. And still 
nothing here for Shane to go at. So difficult to find a, a safe haven on the table as well. This this red to the left of everything it may cut in the bottom right. Oh, that's another good spot. So I think you're right. He's straight down for it. He's okay. Wow. Yeah, that's the first ball he's missed. It was a tough one. But it does give Oli a chance. It's a good first shot. Got him on the table. And now we see the speed of the bullet as he flies around the table. He is a great player to, to watch. It would be good to see him get a few on the board now because yeah. he's a great player to watch when he's in full flow. He really is. And you know what? One of the best one-handed pool players you'll ever see. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> and yourself, I used, to, I used to play, me and Ross used to play, you know, obviously Ross McGuinness. Yeah. Uh, we used to play for a, quite a few pounds uh, one-handed. Yeah. But the condition was, and I made the conditions. Let's see Ollie get his first frame first. Well done. Great stuff. Well done. Yeah, that really is good. It's ridiculous. Oh, what a break. That cue ball straight back up the middle of the table. An absolute crunch. Absolutely smash that to bits. Well, this is the safe cracker. At his best. He's definitely opened that safe there. Yeah, for sure. You can see this straight away. Drop this one in, drop the one in the middle, one down the rail. Play the plant. Nice, easy black to finish on. Yep. Yeah, you feel that this, um, this should be the game right here, Steve. Left that a little bit awkward, funny enough. I know it looks simple, but if he rolls through. Then he's leaving an angle on these two reds in the bottom pocket. The shot may be to screw back an inch so he's got Q in his three, to roll the red down the cushion. Let's see what he does. Because I think he'd want to roll through now. Yeah, I agree, yeah. yeah. Because then you've got no worry of a thin cut on the reds and trying to get on them. You can just drop. Yeah, just, just run through, kind of probably just north of the bulk line. Yeah, exactly. It's perfect. Just needs to take care that he doesn't lose the, the first red to the cushion, and I'm sure he won't. Oh, oh, he did. But he's got away with it. Wow. Goodness me. As I was just saying, he needs to be careful where that red went. That could have easily gone wrong. He's got away with one there, Steve. I think he's had his weight a bit this morning. <laughs> A little tricky little shot here. Ah, oh, safely in. Well done, Shane. Um, what a performance from Shane Thompson this has been. Yeah. Just that one miss ball in the whole of the game, and um, you know, in two semi-finals between those two players, that that was it. One miss ball between the two of them. He just clinical, dominated, and it is heartbreaking Friday. Absolutely.